Hello and welcome to the Bazer Electric video tutorial series. This video is going to show you how to set up an IEC 6150 map within the BE1 Flex. First thing you're going to do is make sure that your style is going to support 6150 communication. Uh, it will always require an Ethernet board and protocol package 02. Next thing we're going to do is create our uh, circuit configuration, input out configuration, and a variety of other things. I'm going to use the auto generate to uh, create a whole bunch of them uh, near instantaneously and now you're going to see circuits and breakers and inputs and outputs. The reason this is necessary is because in the MMS portion and the file setup of 62150 it's going to configure uh, metering chunks as well as uh, other functionality based upon what is configured and because the VE1 Flex can be configured in a wide wide variety of applications you need to tell it what it's looking at before it can create a map to tell you what those values are. So circuits, breakers, inputs and outputs um, as well as other functionality is going to be up in the configuration. Other components that are going to be uh, potentially uh, needing to be configured uh, indicators are what's going to be used for goose outputs and remote indicators are what's going to be used for goose inputs and we'll get into the more, those more later uh, in some specific goose messaging uh, videos. So we can add a couple remote indicators. We Now we have uh, eight goose outputs and two inputs. Lastly uh, we're going to go to communication and go to IEC 62850 file and the first thing we're going to do is create the CID file. So I'm just going to create it. I'm just going to call this Flex CID and name it somewhere on my computer. Now, if I'm not doing goose messaging, if I just want to have a, a map of all of the information that's in that device, I can go back to that CID file I named, and I can simply rename it to a .scd file format. Uh, the step that would happen in between those two points, uh, if you are using goose messaging, is the CID would be imported into a substation uh, software package. It would be mapped into other IEDs that are in the system and that software would then export an SCD file or uh, other file that could be imported as an SCD. So once that SCD file exists, again this example is not uh, having goose messages go between devices, it's just doing a, the metering functionality, uh, I will import that SCD. So I'm going to import that as CD that's created. Again, all I did is rename CID to SCD. Uh, I'm looking at the flex that's in that file, and the access point is going to be S1. And now I've imported that SCD file, and I can look in my IED, see all my access points. Um, there's my goose messages, in, or my GGIO points there. My MMXU is going to be my metering, so I see volts, watts, you know, stuff you typically consider with a power meter type application and all sorts of other stuff that goes into that SCD file in 62150 map. Uh, there's other settings with 62150 as well in terms of uh, if you're sending Goose uh, other components to it. Again, we'll get into those later, uh, but wanted to show you just the file setup of 62150 and we'll get into more as time goes on. Thank you very much. Have a good day.